In the untamed heart of the West, where landscapes stretch wide and wild, this season has been a ride through discovery, challenge, and true grit. From the rush of the hunt, whether it's the thrill of pursuing elk through the rugged high country, outwitting elusive white-tailed deer, or chasing antelope across the open range, this season has been about embracing the wild frontier. We've forged unforgettable bonds, training the next generation of mules, to bidding a heartfelt farewell to our old mule, Hank, after 28 years. At the heart of it all, this season has been about the time spent with family and friends and the memories we've made together. Join us as we relive the tales, celebrate the friendships, and honor the wild places and experiences that have made this season truly unforgettable. This is the best of 2023. September is nothing short of a magical month. As the crisp fall air settles in over the landscape, the woods come alive with the symphony of the elk rut. The thunderous bugles of mature bulls echo off the rugged peaks and valleys. It's a wild, adrenaline-fueled frenzy that has the woods buzzing with energy. This is archery elk season. It's finally here. The scenery is straight up stunning, where every call and bugle feels like the heartbeat of the wild, pulling you into the coolest show on earth. For me, there's nothing more exhilarating than being surrounded by the raw energy of the rut. Every bugle and every chase during this season is a reminder of why I cherish these wild places and the thrilling dance of the elk rut.
One of the heartbreaks of bow hunting is when the bull of your dreams teeters just out of range. These are the moments that linger in our hearts, drawing us back to the woods year after year. I want to let these elk get off this open face. I don't want them to see us. No, there's still at least there's, five bulls. Well, there's two, two good bulls, bulls up there. Two really good bulls. Yeah. For Dad and Yogi, this season will be etched into memory as a roller coaster of highs and lows, the near misses and heartaches. Bow hunting is filled with exhilarating challenges that bind hunters and generations together. Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Night Force Optics. Rugged, reliable, repeatable. And On X Hunt. Know where you stand. Hunting with family isn't just about the hunt. It's about making epic memories and going on unforgettable adventures together. Every outing spins its own wild tale full of excitement and surprise. These days in the field become legendary stories set against the stunning rugged backdrop of Wyoming. It's here that we feel the heartbeat of our family, our bond with our mules and horses, and the thrill of exploring the wild terrain side by side. This elk hunt is extra special as we celebrate our beloved mule, Hank, marking the end of an incredible chapter and honoring a life well lived. The other one's bigger. This one's with cows and they're coming up onto the public. I think the other one's a little bit bigger bull, but he's letting this one have the cows, so. Yeah, what's that tell you? He's broken. Yeah, he is a bigger bull. And the, the one that was by itself is bigger than him yet, I think. He snapped the back two points off on his right, just at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, he's definitely a bigger frame ball. Than this one. Mm -hmm. I think I'd rather have a bigger frame than just a rag five. Well, then let's try to figure out how to shoot this one. Have to go to the pond yeah. pretty quick. Yeah. Let's get going. Let's just keep crawling up here. And um, I think if we can break over this edge, we can get you prone. Okay, sounds good. I'm a little worried about that sun in our face, but maybe we can get behind that little juniper there and get some shade. Okay, we'll try. He's 550 yards, so you need to dial 3.0. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Hit him, hit him. Reload, reload. Heart shot, you're good. Okay, you're good. Good job. I did it. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I do love him, you know. Yeah, he's a big old bull. Wow. <laughs> Look at his front. He's, he's a, a nice bull. bull. That's an old bull. The eye guard's on him. Yeah, he's an old fighter. Now we just need to get Christy one. And Yogi. And Yogi. Lots of my yes. tags. We got lots of tags and lots of time to pack them out. The West speaks to those with a spirit of adventure, offering a chance to step beyond the beaten path and boundaries of civilization. This is a land where one can immerse themselves in the untamed, experience true raw beauty of nature and the thrill of the hunt. 
Here, amidst the rugged landscapes and vast open spaces, hunters find not just a challenge, but a profound reward in the harvest, making this journey a remarkable tale of discovery and accomplishment. Might go smoothly, might not. We're 60-40 right now. Uh, apparently they've packed. We don't know to what level, so we're about to find out. Hang on. Well, this isn't going so hot on Hansel here, so we're gonna pull his pack saddle off, put it on Hank, and Hank will now be packing meat, and Hansel will just pack my saddle, and I will be officially a walker. For 27 years, Hank has been our unwavering companion and go-to mule. He embodies dependability in the backcountry and is a cherished member of our family. As we load up Dad's bowl, we had no way of knowing this would be Hank's final journey with us. His footsteps across the badlands of Wyoming mark the end of an era. And as he packed out his last load, he took a piece of our hearts with him. Losing Hank has left a profound void. And as we reflect on the countless miles he's traveled, we remain thankful for every adventure that we had together. Since 2017, trips to Missouri to hunt with my friends, David and Cindy Westmoreland of Prairie Land Outfitters have become one of my favorite yearly traditions. It's like heading back to a second home where I get to pursue one of the world's most elusive big game species, the white-tailed deer with my bear archery bow. But honestly, the real magic of hunting Missouri is the time spent with friends. Whether we're looking at trail camera pictures, contemplating tomorrow's wind conditions, celebrating a successful day, or commiserating over a missed shot, it's all about the sharing of highs and lows and laughs, and of course the hunt. This year brought a dramatic mix of weather extremes, from unseasonably hot days to some of the coldest days that I've ever sat in the stand. Both ends of the spectrum made for some of the most challenging conditions that I've ever faced in the field. Harvesting a mature buck every year isn't a walk in the park. It takes serious effort and tireless dedication to even stepping in as cameraman. David's commitment has ensured that each year I return with the anticipation of new adventures. David's done a really good job and put a lot of effort into building a food plot for these deer. They're coming in, they're eating these turnips and you can just see them pull them out of the ground get a big mouthful of them and the bucks and the deer will eat them and you can just see them go down their throat hole it's crazy but such dense food source high calorie and you know it doesn't take a lot for them to get full on this stuff so a lot of times they're not out here that long so this is what they're coming for and uh, it's literally just the bounty of nature right here it's awesome everything that i've learned about hunting white-tailed deer comes from the knowledge that he has generously shared with me the willingness to pass along his knowledge and experience has shaped my approach to hunting in general and has deepened my respect for those that go out each year and successfully harvest old whitetail bucks. It's the last set of the week and it's the worst set of the week. <laughs> just came in so fast and I stood up and I could hear the ice creaking on my jacket just <laughs> we did it to Dan I will say this this is about as worst conditions as you can get this is the worst conditions you can get for white tail deer hunting yes. but it worked finally <laughs> Perfect. 
perfect. This is a nice mature deer. This deer's probably four and a half years old. I have hunted my guts out for this thing. Absolutely perfect day, perfect ending to what's been a really grueling season. And um, I just couldn't be more appreciative. The fellowship that I've had this week, the dedication that David's put into making sure I had opportunity. Heck, I'm wearing the man's clothes for crying out loud. Like, uh, it's been, this is just a perfect ending. I'm just so grateful. Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Tinks, America's number one buck lure. And Dead Down Wind, real science, real results. With the spirit as bright as a thousand suns, Bridger Housley captures the hearts of everyone he meets. His journey has been anything but ordinary, navigating the trials that would daunt many. Yet these very challenges have shaped him into a fearless young man who approaches life with unyielding determination. No matter how big the challenge, Bridger pursues his dreams with relentless passion. His dream? To hunt and explore the world, seeking adventure wherever it leads. The coolest white-tailed deer. They have some white legs. Looked cool. White legs. Hi. Hey, mom. Hi. We uh, may or may not have done something. Oh my goodness. We already? <laughs> yeah, we we going down. When I think of a white tail deer, I think of this. <laughs> to any other to any other kid that's disabled, I say you're not. In the I guess you could say real world out in public, you are, but when you go hunting, you're not disabled. When they say I have a disability, I think of it as you don't have a disability, more so a different ability. I feel like sometimes people just let the disability, they think to themselves, well, I'm disabled, so I just can't do anything. And they just lose a chunk of their life because they just think that they can't do it. As we reflect on the journey of this hunting season, from the wild excitement of the elk rut in September, with its frenzy of bugles and jaw-dropping views, to the priceless lessons learned from friends, every moment in the field has woven an awesome story of adventure. For those who hunt know the importance of hunting transcends the hunt itself. It's about creating lasting memories with family and friends. Whether it's enduring the extremes of weather or learning the ropes of hunting from a mentor, these adventures shape us. The spirit of youth reminds us of the endless potential and unwavering resolve that define our pursuits. Finding courage and passion that pushes us to pursue our dreams with intensity and joy. As we gear up for the next journey, let's carry forward the lessons learned, the friendships forged, and the wild spirit that makes every hunt a cherished story in the grand narrative of our lives. Be 
sure to check out my website, PursueTheWild.com, where you can stream all of Season 7's episodes. Thank you for watching this episode of Pursue the Wild. Jump behind the scenes with us for our podcast, Wild and Uncut, or tune into our digital lifestyle show, Our Wild Life. You can stream everything on my website, PursueTheWild.com, and be sure to follow me on social media, at Christy Titus.